Welcome to Lit, stories of what people do and their impact on the world. I'm Katherine Miller. And I'm Tom Miller, and we're here today to talk about the members at our co-working space and some of the really cool work that happens. So you'll be seeing a series of videos uh, about people, about places, about um, events, about ways that people are connecting and ways that they're impacting the world. I think one of the interesting things about our space are the people who office here. That's what makes Lyft so cool. So Tom, why don't you tell everyone how the name came about? Sure. Um, when we were naming the office, the co-working space, we thought about different options. And I just finished writing a book called Lyft, A New Paradigm for Building Influential Leaders. And um, the hope was that there'd be a, a bit of a brand extension there, proximity to the airport, which is a couple miles away from DFW Airport. And we liked the idea of of joining those two brands. We really just love the idea of the, the concept of lift and what it means to, to lift someone. Um, to lift, you've got to have a stable base. You've got to be humble. You've got to be willing to, to take a weight, to take someone and help propel them forward. So as opposed to pulling, as opposed to pushing, just the idea of, of lift and the, uh, the concept behind the word, the definition behind the word was appealing to us. Uh, and so the Lyft office was born, uh, built a logo that's got a bit of a, a, an aeronautic uh, theme to it, and opened the doors. And the cool thing about it is the people that have showed up, we were curious, who's, who's going to come? Because we're in Grapevine, Texas, so we're halfway between Dallas and Fort Worth. And typically you hear about co-working spaces being hip and ping pong tables and people in their 20s, and we have some of those. But it's the audience here, the members here, are more of what is in the center part of Dallas and Fort Worth. So there are people who are starting businesses. We have startup companies, we have videographers, we have coaches and consultants for business, we have people who have bought businesses and sold businesses and are starting new endeavors, and it's really a rich group of people. And that's really what drove us to do these videos. We wanted the world to see what cool people actually office in this space and the type of work that they're doing. And so it's been really fun to come up with questions that we've asked the different members to get their feedback on how they're doing life and how they're doing business. And one of my favorite questions is if you were to get on an elevator and there's a 30 second ride up to the top and some young person hops on the um, elevator with you and they say, hey, I know you've run a business, I wanna start a business, what would be your advice? So, Tom. Oh. Um, I think I'd ask them, do they have a unique idea that is special? What does the world need? What will it miss if you don't do this? Uh, I would encourage them that they're um, getting ready to do a significant amount of work that can be incredibly rewarding. So. I'd be optimistic on their behalf. I'd um, want to question them a bit around the marketplace acceptance of their idea, their readiness for their idea, their willingness to, to push into new space, or if they're working in a space that's fairly mature, what are they going to do different? Why would people buy from them? So here's the dirty little secret. Tom does that on a regular basis. He, in addition to running the lift office, he's actually a professor now at Western State Colorado University. Go Mountaineers. Go Mountaineers. And regularly he has students come in whiteboarding and brainstorming ideas. So that's kind of fun too. So some of the things that we do in these interviews is that we ask people several questions like, describe your best day and what is your key to productivity? and um, a personal or a business philosophy on life. So we not only ask them about how they promote their business, but we also ask them how are they doing life and so that we can all learn and glean from each other. So stay tuned for more stories, stories of entrepreneurial work in Afghanistan, stories of smart home technology, stories about people that tell stories, uh, authors, thinkers, doers. So stay tuned and watch or or you're welcome to come into the Lyft office. We are in Grapevine, Texas, 2.7 miles from the Dallas-Fort Worth Airport. So whether you live and work in the Dallas-Fort Worth area or whether you're flying in for a day, we'd love for you to stop by. We'll serve you a cup of coffee and you come work here for a day. So we hope to see you soon. Mm -hmm.